In 2008, an MTV reality show called A Shot at Love starred Tila Tequila, who was one of the internet's first queer celebrities, along with people like Chris Crocker, Jeffree Star, and that dancing banana from Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Pretty sure I've seen this guy rolling his face off at the club like every night during Pride. Tila's dating competition reality show revolved heavily around her bisexuality, as both straight men and lesbians competed to be the person to share a musty, uncomfortably damp bed with the sensual queen of MySpace. Over 12 years later, this show has aged so poorly that even the first episode is riddled with homophobia, microaggressions, and enough problematic interactions that eventually gay rights activists just gave up and said, you know what, we'll try and stop cars from hitting you guys at parades, but television is unfixable. So get by curious with me in another MTV reality dating version of Clip Breakdown. <laughs> Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another installment of Clip Breakdown. This is the playlist where we dive into our favorite movies, TV movies, nostalgic content, and whatever else. And we sm sm smash it into smithereens and look at it clip by clip and break it down into little morsels that we can chew up and get stuck between our teeth and then use floss to remove them because we're healthy. We're healthy and we take care of our mouths. After looking at the MTV show Next a few weeks ago, I got a lot of requests to check out some other MTV dating shows, and this one really stuck out in my mind. Tila Tequila's A Shot at Love, I remember being really groundbreaking at the time when it premiered on my birthday, April 22nd, 2008, my 17th birthday. Oh, to be young again. I probably had so much collagen in my skin. Oh, I would have bounced back if you dropped me off the Chrysler building. But anyway, this show was about a MySpace celebrity, Tila Tequila, who was very famous for being bisexual. It was a different time, and that was was something that seemed really novel. Unfortunately, bisexual representation and understanding of that sexual orientation was still pretty much far behind where it needs to be. And I think this show really helped uh, perpetuate a lot of negative stereotypes about bisexual people and lesbians and straight men. So with that, let's dive in. I actually used to have a Tila Tequila song on my running playlist from a young age. It's very aggressive. And I think it's the only song she's ever done because it's used several times throughout this movie show. <laughs> Here's a little taste. I, I think I love you. If you ever hurt me, I'll kill you. That's the tapeworm in my intestines after seeing how often I eat. Yes, my tapeworm is bisexual. None of my other parasites have identified their sexuality to me, but I get all of my skin mites from gay men, so. This is the centered version in the real one. She goes, if you ever hurt me, I'll kill you. You better throw down if you get with me. You better realize that I'm what you need. You better get hip when I count to three. I will you up. And then she goes, who the is this bitch on your page with her big it's up on your top eight so myspace related because that's really where she came up in fact let her speak for herself her career i'm tila tequila and you guys may know me as a cover model actually no i don't subscribe to the magazine guy world for men i get all of my news from dude universe for bros because of their less biased coverage on the middle east may have drooled over my hot music videos mm, no i haven't i'm sorry i would it's just that i have taste oh you could even be one of my two million friends online. Oh, are you one of those hot singles in my area who's always trying to message me on sketchy websites? Just DM me on Twitter, girl. I promise we're going to find you a date. Because she's like a Z-less celebrity, they have to spend five minutes establishing her credibility. They're like, you might have seen me on the back of a magazine, or maybe once you saw me online on a website. Like, okay, sweetheart. I haven't, but let's just go. I'm about to meet 16 gorgeous straight guys. Translation, just 16 guys, and some of them have abs. And I'm going to meet 16 hot lesbians who think I'm straight up gay and looking for a long-lasting lesbian relationship. But you deceived them. <laughs> gay rights. First up, the men come and they have a party with Tila before they even realize that this is a bisexual competition. So they just think they're men going after this girl who wants a man. The men have a very chaotic energy that made me feel unsafe throughout the first half of this episode. I want to see my boys! Boys! Tila! Boys! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, Tila! Yeah, 
can we go ahead and add accidental damage insurance for this rental property quickly, please? This was the Wicked Witch and her flying monkeys back in their early 20s, the wild years. All of a sudden, I'm going for it. I climb the wall like Romeo and Juliet. Don't compare yourself to them if you're not going to poison yourself into a coma. It doesn't take very long at all for people to start revealing themselves to be very problematic individuals. Nah, I've never been with an Asian chick before, but I love Chinese food. Well, here's a tip. Not all Asian people are Chinese, and just because she's on a balcony doesn't mean you have to bow to her. He's like, I gotta respect her culture. I know that now I gotta go make friends with her little cartoon dragon. We see more from Ashley later, and he continues to give us problems. Meanwhile, Tila is living her best life. <laughs> Were you really just waiting around or were you getting drunk while your makeup artist did the bare minimum? I don't know if you guys know, but Tila Tequila has since come out as saying that she was never bisexual and this was a gay for pay situation. She's also sympathized with Hitler, identified with the Nazi party. So she's a real issue nowadays. As recently as 2018, she was saying problematic stuff on the internet. Also, if you remember seeing this show before, you might remember Domenico, an Italian man who is definitely not an actor hired by production to keep things interesting. 20% of accent that I got and 50% of cooking meal, and it makes a 200% chances to have the woman in the bed by the night. Oh look everybody, it's the horny European exchange student from every sex comedy in the early thousands. And he doesn't know how to add up 100%. So each of the men were asked at this party to bring a gift for Tila to show how much they care about her. And it really seems like a lot of these guys just found stuff around the house, but some of them actually seem to plan ahead. Like this guy who did some art, which he uses to get all up in her business. Something I painted. The name of it's illustrious. It looks like me, so why don't we act it out? Right here, okay. the head back. Uh -huh. What if his jaw unhinged and he just started swallowing her whole head? He said, call me Mr. Python, baby, because I'm hunting for those eggs. The other reason I know Domenico is a plant is because he's always asking these, like, questions that just stir stuff up. Would you sleep <laughs> with a guy for $10 million? Oh, we don't do that in America! No, uh, speak for yourself, sir. As an American who has slept with another guy for zero dollars in a box of Triscuits with hummus, I would take that $10 million deal in a heartbeat. I had some rough years after college, ladies, okay? A lot of these guys, unfortunately, they're scared about other guys, which is called homophobia. Homophobic, it's when somebody's scared of other guys, I guess. It's like a disease. Homophobia is a disease. Thank you, Domenico. But I intend to heal the world of homophobia through the power of my dance. That guy who was like, we don't do that in America, he kind of rats out to Tila that, um, I'm not homophobic, but there are people saying gay sh here, which makes him look really dumb. And Tila's like, eh. So Ashley, the guy with the cowboy hat, starts picking a fight. He's definitely a little intoxicated. They're obviously letting the liquor flow very freely here. Like even Tila's slurring her words every time she talks to the camera. You pissed everybody off in this house. You step aside. I ain't step aside from you step anybody. Aside. Huh. You step aside. I don't you step, step aside. aside. You hit, like hit me because I love it. What? Oh, what a surprise. The man who has a vest with a skull on it, who's wearing a Confederate flag do-rag, is starting a fight. Tila never asked you to defend her, sir. She's not Donald Trump asking you to raid the Capitol. If you want some unproblematic apparel, then maybe you should check out my merch in the links below. You can also visit my Patreon where you can unlock exclusive clip breakdowns and bonus content from me every month. You also get to vote on my upcoming clip breakdowns, join the Discord, it's lit. Not as lit as these party guests and Tila Tequila who starts complaining that these guys are too busy fighting and not busy her. See, that's the thing about guys. Let your testosterone get in the way and you forget about the Lady. So you better stop beating and punching each other and start beating and punching this And that's our first challenge. We've got boxing gloves for each of you. You're all gonna line up and just go full Rocky Five down there. I'm not trying to shame anybody for being free with their sexuality. I'm just pointing out that this show really leans into it. Everyone gets a key instead of like a rose in The Bachelor. And there's also a bedroom key where you get to go to like the fantasy suite situation. And do what? Put your fingers in her orifices. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to do it, yeah. That's a song that I danced to at prom. 
Today's video is brought to you by Privacy. Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual payment cards as opposed to entering your real debit and credit card information. That protects your bank information and your identity from the internet. Right now, new customers will get $5 to spend on their first purchase. So visit privacy.com slash nickderamio to sign up now. Making purchases with privacy.com is super simple and fast. In just a short period of time, I found a lot of different uses for privacy. For example, I'll create a virtual card for each of my different subscription sites and create a monthly limit for how much that site is supposed to be charging me. I've also created one-time use cards that I can just make a single purchase with and that way I don't have to worry about that card information being stolen. Look, in this screen grab you can actually see the card number I'm using, but you'll never be able to steal that money from me because it's already been done used. Like I said, new customers will automatically get five bucks to spend on their first purchase. So visit privacy.com slash N-I-C-K-D-I-R-A-M-I-O and sign up now, baby. Now back to the video. Finally, the men go back to wherever they came from and it's supposed to look like this is the same night but I can't imagine Tila Tequila did both of these parties in one night she was pretty drunk just now but it's supposed to look like then all the girls come through for their party and it all begins with these women acting like they knew who Tila Tequila was before getting on the show I knew who Tila Tequila was but I never would have thought she was gay I watch her videos all the time I have pictures of her everywhere she's just amazing and she's very talented they're like I think she's so amazing I I love her work. I've always looked up to her. Oh really, what does she do? She's like one of those girls who hand out shots at the bar, right? Just like the men didn't know what they were getting into, these young lesbian women who are all so fun and gorgeous and have such good vibes compared to those men, they think that Tila's just looking for a lesbian relationship. They think they're on like a really groundbreaking reality show that's just the first lesbian dating show. Unfortunately, it's a little more trashy than that. I mean, I can't pretend like this isn't one of the first reality shows to like give representation to LGBTQ plus community, but I can't say that it's like really great representation. Especially the way that the star like walked back on all of those views later and just is completely harmful to the community. That in itself is probably the reason why this has been scrubbed from the internet. This is the first show about lesbians and love. Just to be a part of something so groundbreaking like this is an honor. Well, don't pick out a dress for the GLAAD Awards just yet, sweetheart, because you're forgetting you've been brought here under false pretense. I love the red solo cups that they're using. They're like, listen, we're not trying to break glass around these ladies. We've got a lot of liquor flowing, a lot of open-toed shoes. We can't have it. So lesbians. I'm with you, sweetheart. Unfortunately, Tila Tequila is not. In her 2018 video, she went ahead and said that the other contestants who participated in the show were disgusting and degenerates. Mama, if they're disgusting and degenerates, what are you? You're the one whose name is in the title. Baby, girl. Tila Tequila is trash. I do, however, kind of live for all of the queer energy that the show radiates. Just like girls kissing. Even though Tila's kind of rude to other girls and you can really see her preference. She always goes after the young, innocent seeming girl who's kind of virginal that she wants to like corrupt. She's pretty open about that. But you know, she's faking all of this for television. We also get a few funny characters who just seem to be drunk and are there to add some color. Like this blonde girl who loves to say, Hi girl, hey! Hi girl, hey! Hey, girl, hey. Oh, everyone stop what you're doing because Keisha has entered the room and she needs our attention like it's her father's approval. If we say that we're proud of your modeling career, will you stop saying, hey, girl, hey? Why was that something we all said when we were drunk in 2008? Like, I remember in high school being at parties and everyone being like, hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Like, it was just something we would shout. Where did that come from? From this? Or is she getting it from something? She can't have originated that. Maybe. Hey girl, hey. There's one character on here named Danny who we see in another reality show. My sister Melanie, who I was watching this with, said she later went on to have another show of her own, like a lesbian show, so I'm here for that. At least there were positive spin-offs that came from this. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm just making my rounds. We'll come back anytime. She gave that girl a full tour of the surface of her tongue and then on her way out she was like, oh hi butch girl. She basically pays no attention to anybody who doesn't look like a conventionally attractive model with long hair and, you know, revealing clothing. I mean, everyone can have their own type, but why did you cast these people on the show if you're just gonna treat them like second class citizens because of the way they appear more masculine? That's a problem for me. I love Lala though. She brings the sass. I like someone in a relationship, they gotta be on my level. If you on my level ain't gonna work. You gotta be just like me, man. Tila's gonna love me. Keep it real with me. Lala said, Tila better figure out how she's gonna impress me. Like, okay, but you know that's not the situation of this TV show, right? Love the confidence. 
For some reason, Tila finds ways to like admonish these other girls who she basically hasn't even talked to. I just dove in and like made out with her right in front of what's her face. Um, take care. All right. Right after we made out, I just walked up and left. And what's her face? Got no love. <laughs> I'm such a douchebag. Oh, sweetheart. I'm so glad you said it so I don't have to. Tila Tequila broke the glass ceiling of female douchebags. And now we're all just walking around on the shards of broken glass while our feet get all bloody and mangled. While the men had to give Tila gifts, the girls have to do a sexy fashion show to explain their personality to Tila. Or as I like to call her, Tila. Tequila. Uh, this fashion show basically just consists of girls wearing Halloween costumes. I'm gonna show you what a real looks like. This needs to be groomed and has a bad case of kennel cough. <sighs> Where did this trend of two-tone blonde and black hair come from back then? Girls were really out here dyeing their hair to look like Pepe Le Pew. I remember we went on a cruise, I guess around this time, me and my sisters and my mom and dad, and every girl had that haircut. We were like, skunk town, USA. Keisha's still rocking her thing. I think she actually did this look before Lady Gaga did. Yeah, Lady Gaga didn't do this look until 2011 or so. Hi girl, hey! Excuse me, but could you help me dust some sawdust at my tool belt? What? You heard her, she said she needs help dusting sawdust off her tool belt, which I think is code for combing out her pubic life. The way she has her smash down with that caution tape is so unsexy. She's like, caution. I'm being as careful as I can around you, sweetie. Thank you. Stephanie comes out, someone who is one of the two butch girls who doesn't get a lot of attention from Tila and also gets really admonished by the other girls. It's pretty sad to see. I'm the ultimate bachelor. I think that a butchy girl is so creepy. All right, Amanda, I'm not saying that the Hugh Hefner smoking jacket was the most alluring choice, but it's still a way better look than your internalized homophobia and that blonde of the living dead mop you got on your head. There's this like stigma around lesbians who present more masculine, just like there is around gay men who present more feminine. And I think that's all bullshit. Bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I'm here to say, be who you want to be. If your wrists are limp and you've got a lisp, be the gayest one. If you got some power tools, that's okay. Drill all the holes you want. And if you really want to confuse the heteronormative society, you got to mix it all together. So be like gay and butch and femme and straight. Just, just f them up. Pop, 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 poker face, my, my poker face. Mo, 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 mo. Pop, 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 poker face, my, pop, poker face. I'm butch, I'm butch, you're a butch too. Pew, 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 pew. My neighbors right now are like, eight o'clock? Okay, cool. I love Brenda's taxi driver look. It looks like Tina Burner's from one of the most recent episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm the taxi girl, so I'll take you where you exactly wanna go. I exactly wanna go back to the Spirit Halloween store where you got all these outfits from, but they have a no returns policy. So I don't know, just drive us off a bridge or something. Here's Danny. I think she's like the most endearing person on the show. She seems so real and I can see why they gave her her own show. She's like an icon. I'm a firefighter, so I'm gonna get a lot of from the guys at the firehouse from wearing this outfit. Production said, all right, ladies, for the fashion show, just wear your skimpiest, sexiest outfit. And Danny said, does that mean like my heaviest pants? With each of the groups, the men and the women, Tila eliminates five of each right after the party. And you know, those people are inconsequential because they barely show them. And it's the next day that she brings the men out and they don't know what to expect, but she's getting ready to reveal her bisexual secret. Hello, boys. Ugh, if I ever saw that many board shorts at once, I, I would just run in the other direction. I'd be like, shark! Some of these guys are hot, but I mean, who cares? A lot of guys are hot. Doesn't mean you can be stupid. They come with it all day, every day, whether they like it or not. Nobody's got a body like this, baby, come on. Anybody with a Planet Fitness membership could have a body like that. You're stupid. I looked up and saw all these guys and I was like, wow, are these much of lifeguards or something? And if so, we can send them home immediately because I'm a firefighter and CPR certified. So I'm more than happy to resuscitate any drunk, drowning lesbian morons. But little do they know, these aren't lifeguards. They don't just have a dozen and lifeguards, their their competition. Maybe they're all gay guys. Like maybe it's like a gay bash. You did not just call it a gay bash, Vanessa. We're already on thin ice with the government classifying this show as a hate crime. I want to let you all know that I'm a bisexual. Contestants do not be alarmed. I don't think they realize that bisexual is still a species of human. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of wild drama on the season ahead. Oof, 
She said, I'm gonna separate those two hair colors. I can't I don't know. I should pick. Not how to save a life playing in the background, like this is the end of the OC. Ma'am, what did you guys think of Tila Tequila? Are you feeling the bisexual representation? Because I'm feeling a little bit like this positions bisexual people as some sort of promiscuous person who can either be with lesbians or with straight men and they choose, they have to choose one or the other for a relationship. It's not really accurate. But I would love to hear from you guys out there uh, if you're members of that community. Please let me know if you feel represented by this media. Also be sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive clip breakdowns. I've got merch available in the links below. But most importantly, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see me cover even more MTV reality shows that are problematic from the past. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right down here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So it would mean so much to me if you turn that bell icon on as well. That way you'll always be the first to know when I'm about to save a life. I'm really trying to get to 200,000 subscribers this year. So if you could help me reach that goal, I would be so grateful. Thanks for helping me grow this community of Nick D. Crewers and television viewers. You guys are all the greatest. I will see you next time.